I've got a distress mission to do. I've just had a text from my mother saying that her washing machine oh, is blocked up. Have I got a wet vac? And I thought, and I do up here in the loft. Here we are in the loft. We have a wet vac that I've been meaning to feature for some time, but haven't ever really got round to it. It seems that now is the time to do it. So I'll move the turbo power. We'll move this Dyson. And we want what is in this box and possibly this box and that box up there. What is it? Well, let's find out. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? So before we sort this washing machine out, we need to get the vacuum out. Now I've had this for a long while. I had my Citroen XM when I got this. I remember driving to um, somewhere to get it, I can't remember, Wantage possibly. And yes, this is a childhood vacuum of mine, not the childhood vacuum, but certainly a childhood vacuum. As you can see, it's all boxed up nicely because it's been in storage for a little while. Yes, it's, I'm hoping it's going to be all right. I wish I'd found a knife before I started filming this. Looking around, I'm not sure where there is. Oh, I mean, I've someone prepared because I'm rushing a little bit. If I will have to just tear the tape. So, what is inside the box? Yeah. This paper was just a top the box from fading, really. This is my not new in box, it has been used. But not very much, literally, I think it was used wet once. And not much after that, it was certainly very clean the last time I saw it. It's been a couple of years now, though. Yes, this is mine. What? Come on. Boxed up, one, two, one, which is about to be used in anger. <laughs> Possibly the first time ever, yes. Vax. Britain's best selling vacuum cleaner. My mum had one of these. My grandma still got one of these. My aunt had one of these. It's got the original serial number. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Anybody of a certain age will remember these because they were everywhere they still are, everywhere really. Um, I'm hoping this is stored okay and we're about to get it wet, really, but it needed to be used. Right. First out is the box of solution that it came with. It is opened, I think. Ah, oh, chemically. Very nice indeed. The hose. Now this isn't an early one. This is, from what I've worked out, the later 121 before they switched to the 2000. So it has the later style hose. The earlier ones were smooth, but I can forgive it that. I'll have to put it all down here for now and we'll work it out later. Next out are the extension tubes. I'm trying to get other stuff out rather than the machine itself. I think we've got to start getting the machine itself out. So here is the top hood. Literally this has seen very little. I mean, it's, it's a little bit marked. You probably can't see it too much. So it could probably do with a little bit of a clean. But the serial number matches the box. And that is fine. We have, God, that means putting together an ironing properly. Look at that. There's the filter, cheese cloth filter. The, this has seen very light use, possibly by me actually, when I first had it, although I don't recommend using the cloth bags. We'll have to fix that. Wash it in the machine, I think. So there's the original cloth bag with the adapter. The solution tube, which hasn't aged well. It has, say, it, it, it has been used. 
and that's the problem with these, once you use them once, they stay like it. But we might be able to, you could replace that if I feel so inclined. Ah, here we go, right, we'll need this. It's the wet tank. As you can see, the foam gasket is very, very clean. It's from dust. So there's the wet tank. Ooh. Oh, thank God, this, I thought about this the other year. <laughs> has, that, has that leaked? It hasn't. This is the defoamer. That's not actually spell of anything. Yeah, that's the defoamer, because obviously the early models didn't have built-in defoamers. You had to put, like, six capfuls of that in, it says, and then one capful of that for when you do your shampooing. There we go. This is how I know it hasn't been used because, and I've used this once, I borrowed another tool that has never, ever been on the machine. You can tell because that bit scratches up to buggery as soon as you even think about touching it. So that is brand new, as is the small upholstery tool. And they're not going to be used now. I have spares of these, so as and when I might keep this out for a bit. This is a bit unplanned, but I've been meaning to do it for a while, so this seems as good a time as any, really. I've also got these small tools, so we have a unused upholstery tool. An unused, and you can tell because it's not scratched up. Oh look, crevice tool, Ooh. and an unused but a little bit storage, ifily, upholstery brush. Again, don't think I'll be using those just because I've got flipping so many of them. Here is the recovery bucket. Again, it's got. A little bit. I think it's only been used dry. When I first got it, the inside of here had light dust. Just light dust. So I think it's been used briefly, but never again. There's just some bags that I had for it at the time. So there we go. Right, we'll pop that out of the way. Oh, don't want to smash my new lights yet. In here is. I probably will end up using this because this has seen use looking at the very limited amount of dirt there and there's a couple of light surface scratches. This is floor tool. So literally this is one of those machines that was bought probably more of a faff than it should have been and put away. So at the minute, because we are on a little bit of a mission, we need that part this part and that part there we go so that is set up for wet use we need a hose we're probably going to need the poles hope it doesn't blow up either because i think it i don't think i've desuppressed this but if it blows up it blows up but we need some sort of because they're probably going to give water on the floor we best open up these little boxes because in these little boxes is ah, muscles. A boxed Vax Auto Mop. Didn't come with this, I, I bought this off of eBay. But, let's send this on open end. Oh, it's so delicate. Yeah, because we might soft a bit of water on the floor, so we best have a way of picking it up. And in here, we have a sealed bottle of auto mop solution. Not opening that. And, I think that's it. Yes, the auto mop itself. So, your solution tube goes in the back and it obviously still dribbles out. So you use that bit to clean the floor. 
This bit just pulls out. You can get spares of these, actually. I'll see if you do old stock ones. I might have to pick some up. And then this side so squeezes it all up, really. So we'll probably need that. So we'll take this downstairs as well. And then just for completeness, give you a clue, because I've written it on the box for reasons I can't quite remember. This is with the machine. This is the original Autobot. No, Autobot. Power Plus. The Vax Power Plus. With the very happy looking, very 80s or very early 90s lady. In fact, uh, I can't work out what style of machine that would have been. And there's no date on the little label on the bottom. But. Literally all that's in here is, and these are pretty terrible I'll be honest, and this has been used because you can tell because the metal plates are a little bit worn. If I spin that light in there, look, it's, ow, it's very clean, it's a little bit scuffed on the top. Power Plus, my grand had one of these, and they were terrible when I was five, and they're probably still terrible now. So... There we pretty much go. Let's just do a little bit of a arty shot before we get this thing soaking wet inside. Uh, there we go. I'm not going to be using these washing tools because it's just not worth it. You can't buy them new anymore. So there we go. My, there's the hose clips, I'm not getting those out. What was this for? That? My pretty much new box packs 121, which now in 2018 is about to do a job. So let's do that job now. So here we are in the utility room with the washing machine in question for you washing machine buffs. This is a Hotpoint WMUD962 Ultima. And I've got to turn it on. I think it is full of water. Yeah, we can probably see that. I've got my lights down here. So I have the back plugged in. I'm ready to go. I might just stick an extension wand on so I don't have to bend in front of the camera. And basically, I'll zoom back out a bit. We're going to break this little Vax's virginity with some water. There we go, one empty in there, washing machine. Now, oh, it's quite full already, in fact, let's just check how full, in case I need to empty it. Oh, that's gone right into the motor. Yeah, that's very full. Right. I'm just going to dump that out. And we'll give the film to a clean. It has gone through. That's a bit wet. I think just from the sheer body. Luckily, because this is a double insulated motor, it's designed to get a little bit wet. So that'll be fine. As long as I'll clean this one out properly. So let me dump this out and we'll take the bottom off. Right, so that's now empty. I've got a towel. Because we need to take this bottom bit off and undo this part here. So basically you're just going to be holding that there and letting the water flow into it. If I just get the hose out of the way, I can't have the vaccine shot on it. Uh, there you go, you can still see the vax, right.
there we go, there's a little fellow that was causing all the trouble. Right, let me get this empty. Oh, there you go, it's just falling out anyway. All that for that tissue, baby wipe. Right, let me get this all sorted and back together. We need to dry the floor. Right, clumsy old me has spilt a load of water onto the floor. I knew it was worth getting the auto knock out. Don't know quite how well you're going to be able to see this, but that is all water, really. <laughs> see how it goes. There we go, fixed with a vax. And job well done from the vax. Oh, right. Now we've got to clean it, so I'm going to hang the hose up in the airing cupboard. Same with the wands and the auto mop. We'll just wipe out the inside of the room. Obviously you wouldn't do this if you were using it as a daily vacuum but I want to try and keep it a little bit clean just because well it's, it's a lovely looking machine really it'd be a shame to get dirty. I, mean, I think it's going to be used carrying all this upstairs I've decided we're going to use it we're going to keep it out and we're going to use it so I'll get everything else uploaded and we'll do a little series. I don't do those very often. I don't plan ahead enough to do a series of stuff. Because so there's a stain on this very carpet that probably needs to come up. Lots of lino downstairs and obviously the vacuum. So I think I shall keep this down from the loft and we'll use it a bit. Then I can clean it all back up and box it away. So this is now just damp rather than wet. So we'll leave it. It can stay damp. This is a very hot room with the boiler in it. So if I pop it in the corner it's not going to take very long to just evaporate off and dry. Not very long at all. There we go. That's in there. So we'll pop that on there. In fact, it is quite dirty actually, I can see it now, so yeah. It's not going to be the end of the world to use it as nature intended. And then it can go back away for the longish term. I just won't, as I say, we won't be using the wet heads. I have a plan for those, don't you worry. So. That's there, that may as well stay there. I'll pop the washing tools back in there with the bag. Everything stay there. And I'll just pop them back in the box. Same with the small tools, wherever their bag has gone. I won't use those. I've probably got a whole set of back tools in the shed, but they're only 32 millimeters, so I'm not too fussed about that. The Power Plus can go back in its box. That can just sit in there. Same with these, they can just sit in there. Pop this back in the auto mop box, but not the auto mop. That we need to have a look at. I'll show you how my little hack for those. That we're not going to use, don't worry about that. And yes! Basically, we have a picture of the set up for what no, no, so I have to show you. You can't even see that. Hang on, let me, do the, let me set the closing shot up. There we go. 
my early 90s Vax 121 came to the rescue and we may as well keep it out and have some fun with it. So, thank you very much for watching this unplanned video. Hope you enjoyed it and I shall see you soon. Bye bye.